I'm gonna call him Daniel. But Daniel Caesar. No, all the people call him too. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Caesar. Out caping. Cool. For the young lady, yes, Jews. Said that black people are too sensitive. And that black people should be nicer to white people. Because white people, basically he said white people are the master race. That's basically what he said. Are there black people in this, in this chat right now? I can't tell. Yo, I'm not. make sure there is. I love you guys. Yo, you guys are listening and I love you guys so much. But this, we're like talking about something serious. So I'm like, I don't want to talk about shows or like being, you know, like artist stuff. Why? As, I don't know which black people are in here, but I want you guys to talk up right now. Why? Why do we? Oh, I saw it here. I heard something why do why why are we being so mean to Jules? <laughs> why are we being so mean to white people right now? That's a serious question. Can you pass me the why is it that we're allowed to be disrespectful and rude to everybody else? And when anybody returns any type of energy to us, that's not that's not a quality. I don't want to be treated like I can't take a joke. Mm. I just went through that that the fucking Chappelle shit and I had to like in the moment acknowledge that I was being fucking sensitive. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes. that I need to be able to take a joke just like everybody else. No. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. People are allowed to say what the fuck they want. And it's I'm allowed to feel how I want, but it's like am I gonna fight them or am I gonna accept what they have to say and keep it fucking moving? Mm. Why are like this doesn't this is I only treat people that I don't respect and don't think that they can take a joke. I think that they're less than me. Those are the only people that I that I don't fucking say my honest opinion around. Mm. And that's disrespect. White people have, I see what you're saying. White people haven't mean to us in the past. I have a, like, what are you gonna do about that? Tell me what you're gonna do about that. There's no, there's no answer other than gaining understanding and keeping it moving. That's some biblical shit. Yo, bridging the gap, man. You have to bridge the gap. I'm sorry, yo, I'm drunk as fuck right now, okay? But I don't, I don't care. That's not helping. I've seen it. Yo, I've, I've, as, as we are an independent company, Golden Child is an independent company. As an independent company, I, me and and my dogs right here, we have the opportunity to employ black people. Mm -hmm. We employ, we put the winning race. Thoughts. It, it it was stupid because that he was trying to say, right, basically it was dead with that thing with your Jews and that thing with uh people were telling him he was too sensitive about Dave Chappelle. And then also don't forget he also agreed with Kanye four hundred years of slavery was a choice. I didn't know that, but then like I I already acknowledged mm-hmm. that I think he's a coon. Like he's mute, like two of his own, but that, it ain't, dude. that don't mean that I don't think he's a fucking coon. And we ain't talking about uh, ugly coon one, with that. the C-O-O. We talking about coon, C-U-U-N. Shut up, fool. <laughs> talking about we that ain't coon. on Twitter, so we ain't. <laughs> I don't think that it matters right now. No, but we talking about that kind maybe. of coon. But, and I was like, no, fool, what you, like what Dave Chappelle when he said that he was saying that, and it's a for me, when some I can tell when somebody says something to me in a joking manner, and now the way that Dave Chappelle said it, like soon it, cause it was like one of those, hey, oh uh, Dave Chappelle, you, uh, just met Daniel Caesar for the first time, heard his music, what you think? And he said, oh, he's gay, kind of, he kind of gay, sound kind of gay, but then he said, no, nah, I'm just fucking with him. He got he 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 got great music, and then. He like oh, and I think he was right there when he said it. And I'm like, yo, Dave Chappelle, like he's saying this because you sitting right next to him, and also Dave Chappelle is a fucking comedian. Yeah. So and, and see, my thing is, um, with this Daniel Caesar guy, first, don't ever trust a black man with blonde hair. <laughs> Kanye didn't showed you that. Now he didn't showed you that. Don't trust a black man with blonde hair. And two, um, the thing is, with 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 black women, I think black women constantly see black dudes caping for white girls and caping 
for um Latino chicks. And I think when I was watching the timeline today, most of the people I seen commenting on it. It was some black dudes in there too who was killing him. But sisters was on his ass. Mm-hmm. Like that one, oh, and when... I said Oh, you go ahead. And I said he I didn't know who the fuck the dude was, man, until until I saw this. No, nah, like I told you, uh, driving around, he and a couple of his songs, I was like, shit, that shit there. Then with him and a little lady that was on the uh, song, I think one of them was Ella Man, another one was somebody, I think a girl named her. I said, them goddamn songs are slamming. I need to go, go look them up. And I, and I said, the thing is, with a lot of people, man, I said, people want to be a part of a winning team. And that's how they see Race and they see everything else. I always and, thought and, that. And I, and I said that's why you see people cooning, cooning, house niggas, mammy, mm-hmm. bat wrenching, bat bucking, all of it. Uh, it's almost like you take an arrogant person, and that's one of the things about about us. We have a level of arrogancy that flows and seeing through no one through black people and. Because of that, that's why you see this. That's why you see they want to be a part of what they feel is a winning team, and they see white people as the winning team. So he makes these type of comments. And I said, the thing is that started this was their girl, Jess Jews. Yes, Jews. Yes, Jews. Is had wore a shirt that said niggas lie. Some black girls called her out on it. She didn't respond the right way properly. She responded as a victim, like all white people. Not all white people. <laughs> yeah, some white people. But she responded as a victim, and this thing comes a story like two, three years after, in an interview with M- Murder Moot and two other niggas. I don't know who the fuck the niggas was, and. Mm. He comes out talking about it. And I'm like, like, dude, did you not see that conversation that was flowing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because no. that conversation was flowing again. And it was black women saying again, he got motor mook up here, a black man trying to cape for this white girl. And that was, uh, I was going to say, because I watched the Revolt TV thing with Joe Budden and the girl Scotty Bean, who she had mentioned. And that was one of the things that, uh, Joe Budden was saying, "Yo, man, um, I see, I see how we, we like that. Cause I get they have. I don't watch the Revolt TV thing like that. But he was like, yo, we had sat up here and we didn't talk about the plight of black women. And so I understood where they were coming from when they were talking about this yes jewel thing. And I'm not finna be in Murder Mook is up here doing this fuck shit. Yeah, and then." Here come another nigga doing the doing same, the same fuck thing. Shit and the it same like, thing. And that's why I, it's like when sisters start going in and sisters are talking about their culture, which is theirs, get out of the way. Mm-hmm. Don't need you saying nothing, and especially pulling out your Superman cape. Dun, 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 yeah, dun. sisters don't need you to say nothing. You let the sister handle that situation. They had it. Mm-hmm. They don't need you coming in here with your blonde top partner. Sit down somewhere. Clorox? No, I don't Bleach? Know. I'm, I'm guessing. I was like, yo, that must have must been one of your... She must have been one of your friends. Because... <clears throat> and, and did you see the shit that they tried to say? They were like, oh, but he got a black girlfriend. I, I said, this is what y'all say about racist white people, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he, but he got a black girlfriend. I don't, you ain't never heard of Coons. And you know... What if you think... Shit, Coons attract Coons. Last mm-hmm. time I fucking checked. And you know if, if he did have a black girlfriend and she was sitting right there while he was saying that shit, you know what she said, said, hey, shut the fuck up. But don't ever in your life trust a dude with blonde hair. It's like trusting somebody named Willie. I don't know nobody named Willie, so. Good afraid. thing, because if you did, you been got fucked over by him. Hey, now, everybody sure. named Willie ain't shit. Pretty sure somebody who listening to this who is named Willie. And, and like, he ain't <laughs> shit. He laughing now when he heard this shit. He like, damn, that nigga didn't figure it out. All of those niggas <laughs> named Willie ain't shit. That's so cold. All of them. But I ain't never, I met about what, 15, 16 Willies? 
I do. I didn't know a dude named Willie. And he won shit. I ain't going to say that. It was cool. It was all right. Maybe. Yeah. It was when you was in high school. Mm, like middle, late middle school. Or I school. guarantee you when them Jay got missing, it was Willie who took him. <laughs> <laughs> when them Jay got missing out of that locker, it was old Willie who took him. I guarantee you all. But don't trust black men with blonde hair people. Don't do it. 